Hey, what's up, you all? I'm Dude4786. I have autism. And I'm back with another video. So, as at this point, as I'm recording, this would not be the first time that my internet has been down. Yeah, my internet is down. The last time this happened was, I think it was like early last year, I want to say. It was right before I got upgraded to high speed internet. Yeah. And now, for some reason, my internet's not working. I look at the box, see if all the lights are green. The only one that's flickering is the Ethernet, which needs to work in order for the internet to work, right? So, something's going on with the Ethernet. Um, we're never late on payments for the internet because apparently my mother is the one paying for it so she has it to where it's it's set to where it, it, you know it just automatically draws from her account it's an automatic payment so we're never late on a payment so we know for a fact they didn't shut our internet off still have that but for some reason we're unable to access it my mother at the moment's got a lot going on so she's not even going to take the time to really call them because for one it's a Sunday and I doubt I don't know if there's any services available maybe But there was other shit going on too before my internet went down. I have other problems that were going on that I did not mention. Um, I have been hacked. Uh, this is not the first time I've been hacked. I'm not talking about my YouTube channel. I'm talking about my bank account. The first time in probably 10 years Maybe, I want to say, the first time in probably nearly a decade, my account had been hacked. I think the last time was, I'm going to say sometime in late 2013 or early 2014. But yeah. My account have been hacked. I have three recurring payments. I had three recurring payments of $21.95 from Netflix. The thing of it is, I don't go on Netflix. And if I do go on Netflix, it's under it's it's on my mother's account or whatever. We both share we share. Uh, like I went on Netflix a long time ago, years ago, but I wasn't, that was before they changed it up to where, you know, you have to pick how to pay for your own, but that used to be like, it used to be set to where I could go on my Xbox, right, and I could have three different accounts on there. And if I had Netflix, the other person could watch Netflix, because I had Netflix. I don't know if, that, if that's how it worked, but I remember not having to pay per person. I was only, I mean, the only, the only person who was paying for Netflix was my mother, but she had her account, her Netflix account on my Xbox One. 
but uh, I think Xbox had made some changes year, a few years ago. Years ago. I want to say it was like 2016 or something like that. But yeah. I'm getting, but I haven't watched Netflix in a long time. But these recurring payments, these three different recurring payments, I shouldn't be getting twenty-one ninety-five or whatever. If I'm going to be charged for Netflix, it should only be once a month, a one-time recurring payment, not a three-time recurring payment in the same month. That's three different accounts, which tells me. Something ain't right. Why is there three different accounts? Why is there three pay why is there three recurring payments within the same month of twenty one dollars and ninety five cents? That's suspicious. There should only be one, if anything. One. That should only come once a month. Not three of them. So I looked into it, and I looked into the bank statements, and there are other recurring payments that I have not, that I have not even caught until it was too late. I saw payments of forty three ninety five that were recurring every month from some website I don't even fucking know about, and. I'm, I'm like, this is like bullshit, man. And this shit had date back, this shit dates back all the way back to the summer of 2023. So this has been going on for months. And I had so much money that, that at the time that I wasn't even aware of the, the, the stuff that was going on in my account. And, you know, because I was obviously paying for other things like DoorDash and all this other shit. But then in addition to the DoorDash, which I was already spending enough money as it was, I had these p people who were hacking, these hackers in my account, who were trying to stay under the fucking radar by being anonymous on how they were um, going about draw money. They, like, they would draw money here and there. They draw money maybe out like they would they would have one there'd be one recurring payment in one month two recurring payments in another month they would just be all over the fucking place and surprisingly i didn't notice about it and catch something these are things i didn't catch because a lot of when i'm checking my bank balance i do it over the phone but there's a app a website you can go to which I didn't have a lot I didn't have access or logins to where you can see what what was purchased within those months I didn't have access to that my mother does because on me and my mother's account are connected right it's, it's connected in a way where she can transfer money back and forth to my account to her account So she was able to look over it, and uh, she was with me when I was on the phone with um, Wells Fargo, trying to figure out what the fuck was going on, and yeah, so day before yesterday, as I'm recording, they had to put a freeze on my fucking debit card, and they're issuing me a new one. Which I should be getting on Monday, late Monday. So thank goodness I got her because she can draw money for me from my account because she has access to my account because it's linked. So she can draw money, whatever money I have left in there. I got a seven hundred and thirty-three dollar paycheck which I have not deposited because of the shit that's going on in my account. We don't want to do. We don't want to put any more money in. Until they can, until we know for sure that these hackers can't take any more shit. Which I'm pretty sure, without a shadow of a doubt, 
but without a doubt in my mind, that once they froze everything, once they put everything on pause, that that was it. Hopefully, this time with this new account, I got a plan. I'm not gonna lie to you all. Things did get a little sour. My mother found out about what was going on because she said that this same shit happened over a decade, like nearly a decade ago. And she said, I thought I would learn my lesson by now. Not to, not to, there's certain sites you have to be careful about putting your credit card information on. So I was going on, I was going on sites like Timu and all and ordering stuff from Timu and have my credit card information on file. And my mom's like dogging down on me saying that was fucking stupid. You know there's hackers out there that can hack your shit and putting your credit card information out on Timu. And she's like, yeah, well, everybody else does it, but Chris, you're, you're, you're irresponsible about that. I'm like, I'm irresponsible because what? So it's my fault that people decide to steal my shit. It's my fault that people are thieves, right? You're, that's what you're saying? It's my fault that people are, are thieves and greedy. That's my fault, right? Is that what you're saying, Mom? That's my fucking fault? We had an argument about it. Because it's like... It's like she's blaming me... Instead of, you know, stick, it's like, she's not even on my side on this. It's like, instead of, you know, being mad at the people who stole from me, I'm the victim here. I'm the one being robbed. I'm the one they stole from. I'm not the one, I am not the one who stole from them. They're the ones who stole from me. Okay? I'm the victim here. I'm the one being hacked. And she's getting mad at me telling me I should have been more careful about where I put my credit card information. Like... There are a lot of people who use their fucking credit cards online. Millions of Americans. And then and when they're hacked, you would think that the right, reasonable thing to do would be to help that person, right? And not get mad at them. But no, I'm getting yelled at because of something, because this all dates back to because of the same shit that happened ten, like 10 years ago. Where I, was being, where I was being hacked for because I was putting my credit card information using that on websites like Timu or whatever. Like, it's not my fault that people want to steal and take what does not belong to them. That's not my fault. People choose that. And, you're, and here you are yelling at me when I'm the one who's the victim. I'm the one who should be getting help. But you're yelling at me and telling me what I should have done. Yeah, if you're going to yell at me, you might as well yell at me for not wearing a fucking helmet and knee pads, right? Maybe I should walk around outside with a bulletproof vest because there's the possibility that I might get shot, right? I should take full protection. Maybe I should go fucking live in a bubble. Is that what you're trying to say? Maybe I should live in a fucking bubble, right? Maybe that's what I should have done before I came outside to walk my dog. Maybe I should have fucking wore a bulletproof vest, wore my knee pads and my fucking helmet, and lived in a, and walked in a fucking bubble. Because the way she was talking about me, the way she was talking down on me, made me she made me feel like a total fucking retard. I know I'm autistic and I know I have a learning disability, but come the fuck on. I I know damn well I'm not that slow. And I don't need her talking down on me like that. Like I'm a fucking chimpanzee. Doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. And, and I'm not the only one who uses their card online. Right? But this time, this time around, I use my card online anymore. Because I don't want this drama. Because I realize now that the next time this shit happens, it's gonna be I'm, I can't rely on my mother to be there for me and be supportive of me. Because all she's gonna do is fucking yell at me for not for not being careful about where I use my car. Like it's my fault that people choose to steal. Like oh my fucking gosh, you might as well blame me for 9/11. You want to blame me for that too? You want to blame me for? 
9-11, you want to blame me for the tsunami in Japan? You want to blame me for that? Is that my fault too? Blame me for what other people do. That makes a lot of sense. Wow. I'm going to spit this illogical, this ill, with an I, with L, I double L, illogical. That's not, it just doesn't make any sense why you're getting mad at me when I'm the one who's the fucking victim. Tell me what I should have done. I can't prepare for every single fucking scenario. So if a comet comes and strikes Earth, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to, like, build a fucking shelter? So if I don't build a fucking shelter, what are you going to do, yell at me? You're going to yell at my dead, burning corpse? Tell me, oh, you should have built a shelter. You should have took precautions. I'm sorry. I don't, I mean, I'm not, I don't have the answers to everything. I don't know everything. I never claim to know everything, but oh, you want to rub it in my face like, oh, you think, so you think you have it all figured out. You think you're Mr. Know-it-all. I never claimed to be Mr. Know-it-all. I never said I had it all figured out. I never claimed to have it, it all figured out. I know what I fucking know, and I choose to believe what I want to believe, because it's my fucking personal choice. And that has nothing to do with the fact that I think that I know everything because I know I damn well I don't. I know there's a lot I don't know. But I'll tell you what I do know. And one thing I do know is that I don't know everything. That's what's one of the many things I do know that I that I know is that I don't know everything. I don't know everything, but I know what I know. But don't, but you got, but instead of being helpful and supportive of me, when I'm the one being victimized of being, you know, just when I'm the one who's, you know, metaphorically speaking, being fucked in the ass by hackers, um, you're yelling at me. So if I walk in, if I walk in, if I walk into work and I get my ass beat in the middle of the fucking street and somebody drives to the drive by and shoots me up, what are you gonna do? Tell me I should have wore a bulletproof vest? You gonna yell at me for that? How I me? Mean, how I me? Mean, how would she like? How would my mother like it if I told her that if I got mad at her every time she got sick? Well, how, would, how about I tell her? Oh, you should have took your vitamins. You should have wore a mask. It's your damn fault you got sick. That'd be that'd be heartless and cold, wouldn't it? It's pretty much the same concept the way I see it. The way she's yelling at me for shit that I didn't do. And she's making it my fault that I got hacked. It's like, well, you did this to yourself, and you know, knowing damn well there's there's the possibility of getting hacked. Yeah, I can't control what people do. I can't. It's not my fault that people choose to do these things that they do. It's not my fault that people are greedy and want to steal and take things that don't belong to them. It's not my fault that people want to hurt other people. That's not my fault. And I'm supposed to put myself, I'm supposed to, metaphorically speak, metaphorically speak, I'm supposed to wear a fucking bubble everywhere I go, right? I should wear a bulletproof vest. Because if I don't, it's going to be my fault that they fucking hurt me. It's going to be my fault that they rob me. It's going to be my fault if I get fucked in the ass. It's going to be my fault, right? I didn't put a butt plug on my asshole. Like, I'm the one who's at the wrong, no matter what. Oh my gosh. Talk about living in the fucking twilight zone.
But I'm done talking. That's all I've got to rant about for now. Peace.